Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Hair Dab. I'm going to be going over some of the amazing things that are in this document. Now, a couple things. Make sure that you put your name in the upper left, your student ID in the upper right. Now, uh, there are some instructions here. Again, not too difficult. But we do have a couple things here. First of all, uh, each lesson will have two pages that will be uh, for you to look at and read through, and that will serve as your vocabulary, serve as your input in order to complete the other uh, activities. So you see here on the left in the bold are German words. In the right hand side of these columns, you see a definition. And it's a rather uh, descriptive definition, which I think will help you in a lot of ways. So don't think just because it's in English, it's not important. It will be important, especially when you get to the activities. Now here's where you start with the activities. So you have a couple things here. As you can see uh, in section one, for example, you're going to match each word with this definition. Cool. Well, you have the English uh, definitions there, but down in below, you have the German words. So make sure you put the letter on those lines. Now, each of these activities in section two and section three, and further on down to section four and five, you see that there are a lot of different types of activities. They are not particularly difficult, but you do need to read the instructions in order to uh, do these activities. So let's scroll down just a little bit further. Another type of activity that you may see is a type where we have an article. And this article uh, will have the title of it up in the upper left. In this case, it's Tops in Tennis. The upper right, you'll see lesson plan number two. So what I want you to do is to read through this, okay? You read through it, and down here, you have some richtig oder falsch questions uh, or correct or false questions uh, about that article. So all of these questions are going back up into the article above. So a couple of other things. Uh, there are some other activities. Now, down here you see also Zoom verwechseln English. Forget about like weird titles. If you don't understand, it says confusingly alike. Um, lesson plan three. Okay, so you see here, these are what they call false, uh, false cognates. Just basically, it's a, a, a word that you think it should mean something. For example, das Kind looks like the English word kind. But uh, as you can tell, das Kind is child in German. In English, kind means nice. Okay, gütig, freundlich, liebenswürdig. Okay, you see those. So you're going to go ahead and use those papers uh, to answer these questions down here. So it's not a particularly difficult one, but just know that these need to be in order in order for you to uh, utilize them well. Uh, here you have a, an article about the Pennsylvania Dutch. It's a straightforward reading comprehension article. You're going to answer some questions. You're going to uh, tell some true or false statements. You're going to also be filling in some of the blanks using the words, of course, in the previous pages. So there are a couple of extra words here. There are some uh, interesting things. Um, but as you go through these, you're always going to be referring back to the two pages or so prior to. So make sure that you do your best and hopefully uh, you do well. I think you will do well. Um, good luck and hope you have a wonderful day.